Hello, George V back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using what well, one stamps it. This one, peaceful moments. But today, instead of cutting the pansies out of paper out of the DSP, I'm actually going to stamp them. So we'll stamp the flowers and the leaves obviously and the sentiment now I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven and eighths it's got it for one eighth fold and in half I have got a piece of DSP at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I've already run it through the embossing folder and it is the brick wall one I have got a piece of Knight and Navy of five and seven eighths by I think it was two and one and seven eighths before I scalloped it with the contour dies and I use this this one here, the scalloped one. And that'll go across there. And I've got some DSP that measures one and a quarter that will go on there. That's the old gingham DSP. As you can see, I've changed the colour. For the sentiment, I'm using Peaceful Moments. And I'm going to use that, wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. And we will use the um, Stitch So Sweetly dies. And we use this one. I think that's the one I used, yep. We'll use that one. Take it out ready. And we're also going to use the dies for the poppies, which I've got here. So, let's get started with our stamping. Now, never stamped blue poppies before, but we're going to have blue poppies. So, we want, I'm going to do them in Seaside Spray and Misty Moonlight. Don't know what they'll look like, but we'll only see. Right, it's this one with Seaside Spray. And we want two of them. And a small one. Now with misty moonlight, we want this one. Now I don't know if I'll get this in the right place. Oh, don't know if I'm going to like that. No, don't like that. It's too dark. Right, what I'm going to do get another piece and I'm just going to do blue uh, seaside spray poppies so what I will do is get my I want that, I want this seaside spray stamp it off and then stamp it on, do it again, not sure how these will turn out, where's that little one, right, and then we will use full strength Oh, 
Yeah, that's better. And we need the little one. Didn't hit that very well, did I? Let's do that again. Let's put that one down first. And then... That's better. And now we need the bits that go in the middle. Right, this one goes there. And this one goes there. Right. Do I like them? No. This is what I do when I keep changing my mind about things. I don't. I should have done this before I um, made the cards, filmed the cards. I should have seen what I like better. a little stamp uh. that's better yes I like that one better so we'll use them too, and that little one. And now we just need to stamp our sentiment. And that's not big enough. It's not big enough. Oh, just. sure that's in the middle. Now we've got to cut them all out. So place it on there. Stick a bit of tape on it, keep it still. Right, cut these poppies out, pansies out. I keep calling them poppies. Might as 
so I'll cut this one out as well. Oh. Got the tape for that one. Got to do the leaves yet. side while we stamp the leaves and I've got them here we only need three so so do the same soft succulent This one is for the long one. And this one is for the short one. Like that. And that's our leaves done which will quickly cut out if I cut that in half to get some fresh tape for my machine I've got it stuck on my big um, Sizzix oh. Oh. in the wrong dies here. Right. This is what I get for not um, having them all ready before I film. Just one more. Trying to get my stamps out of the way. So I've got room for everything. Right. <sighs> Bring this lot back in. Now we need to glue this on here first. And 
then we're going to glue this. on the card in the middle and then we're going to trim this end off and this is going to go on dimensionals there Yeah, it did. Couldn't remember. And we're going to place it there. towards the left. Before we go any further I'm going to stick this on my card base. I do love this brick um, embossing folder. Quite a bit of detail in it. I mean the one I've got, it's not stamping up, it's just flat bricks, whereas this one you've got all the rough surface of a brick, it's quite nice. Right, these, I'm going to put one there with a leaf behind it, it's going to be rather a blue one, and we want dimensionals. Leaf, pop it underneath. This one we're going to have it coming down a bit more, so we just want dimensionals on this side. And a leaf. Coming out the top. Right, this one, we just have them on the bottom. better. In fact, it could do with a small 
dimensional underneath and now we just have to add some gems to it and I'm just going to put some silver ones on because it definitely doesn't need any more blue in it and I'm just going to add three there Don't be like that. I like the way I struggle to get the kind of flower I like. Alright, all I can say is I'd like to thank you for watching and the difference between cutting them out of DSP and stamping your own. Let's put some glue under that. That's it for today. Give us a thumbs up or a like if you like the card. If you do, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.